Bakit suna no batanon? Sa ato pagkapangulo, tao ra ta. Mahimo lang makadaog ta sa tanang titasyon sa mga pangulo, mga pastor, kon puno ta sa espiritu sa Dios. Ang yawa maghimo sa mga butang kanang naa ta sa advantage. Nga lang gitintal siya, guto magut siya. O sa magitintal, kon gitintal pa siya magigsunat ni alig kwarta, dili ginamitabo. Kung gigwer gitintal pa siya magigsunat ni alig posisyon, ah, okay po na kay paludhon man siya. Ba't yun nakita ang siyawa? Aha, gigutom ka. Muna yung akong itintal ni mo. Isa himo aning, kaning tina, kaning ba ito himo ang tinapay? But Jesus said, no. No. The devil said, then the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, change this stone into a loaf of bread. Gutom ko ka. Hala, himo na. But Jesus never do that. Why? Because he was filled by the Spirit of God. Tintasyon matu pa nila sa mga pastor ko no kwarto kwarta. I don't believe on that. So long as you have the Spirit of God, you can stand. Amen. Apa na yung mga usara magut ka husi sa Biblia? Wala may laing husi sa Biblia. Na apa ba na husi sa magutungon? Na aman pero amahan ni Jesus ba na ni Maria? Dili sa mga husi sa Egipto. Yes, that's true. Bago na yung close friend. Ingon siya sa kwa Jer. Friend. Kung ako'y paon-paunan o yawa, kung ang ipaon sa yawa, babae, sultihan ka, friend, mahog na niyo paon ang yawa. Iko ako yawa po, di sa ko. Basta ngay paon-paunan ko sa yawa o babae, hot na niyo paon ang yawa. Iko ko yawa po tanin mo, ha? But you know, though probably it was just, you know, for the sake of joke, but it happened into his life. Gikuha niya, ang usa ka babae nga minyo ni dala sa Manila. The same person. Good enough that he realized that what he did was wrong and he left the lady. The lady went back to her family and that person got married and now he is one of the workers working force in the South. I will not mention where and I will not mention who. Yes, that's true. That's true. Without the Spirit of God, we can be tempted. Without the Spirit of God, we might think that we are somebody. But God said, no. No. Because man shall not live by bread alone, but by the words of my Father which is in heaven. Kung hindi mong tanawa na walang kisulat na walang kisulatin na, pagkadiha na si Jesus wala matinta sa yawa, and Satan left him for a while. Now the word for a while, it doesn't mean to say that he will not come back. But the Bible says, and then Satan left Jesus in the wilderness for a while. If you were not tempted for the first temptation, Satan will come back. Be careful. If you are not tempted for the first time, there is still another time. Be careful. Pray. Pray. We have to pray for the power of God. Look, Jesus was victorious in his temptation, the temptation of the devil, because he was filled by the Spirit. Jesus is our example. He is our older brother. He is our mentor in the field of leadership in the church. May we will follow his footsteps. And the very person whom I know in the Bible, who followed the footsteps of Jesus, no other than Stephen. Na ba nang ingon sa Biblia lang, ginoo, pasailua sila, kaya wala sila masayon silang dibuhat? Mawag mo nang ingon Jesus dito sa cross. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Exactly the same. Nga nang nasol ka ba ni Stephen? Sa niyang dibato siya, dipatay, under the dictate of Saul, the ambitious young man. Because he was filled with the Spirit of God. And this, because... He knew everything that the Spirit will empower him. He knew that after all, the Spirit will take him to heaven and be given a reward that will last forever. He said, Lord, when he looked up, according to the book of Acts, when he looked up, he saw Jesus standing at the door of heaven. And then he said, Lord, please forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Mga Pangulo, kung nagaling labayan ng sakit ng istorya sa itong pagkapangulo, let's 
say it together with Stephen, Lord, forgive them. A person who is filled with the Spirit can easily forgive. A person who is filled with the Spirit of God will never retaliate. A person who is filled with the Spirit of God will never hold grudges. And a person who is filled with the Spirit of God can lead the church effectively as mandated in the Bible. That is why the last biblical verses that I'd like to read with you before I sit down. In Romans 8 verse 5, For those who are living in the way of the flesh, give their minds to the things of the flesh. But those who go in the way of the Spirit, to the things of the Spirit, for the mind of the flesh is death, but the mind of the Spirit is life and peace. Kung wala ka ispito, makiksunan sa ginoong utaw pangulo, magsika gunahuna sa mga tao nga nagsurtig lain mo. Kung wala yung Espiritu sa ginoong ana sa imo ha, ang mga tao nga imong gitabangan, apan wala mo tabang sa imo pagbalos, magsika ko nauna sunodin ninyo ko tabang. Kung wala kay Espiritu sa ginoo, ang imo nauna bantay ra ka man imalos ko. But you know, if you are a kind of leader who is living in the ways of the Spirit of God, you know the name, but the mind of the Spirit is life and peace. Sayon ba na himoon? Sayon sa naa sa kinoo, apan lisud para sa uban. Therefore, an old Italian proverb said, "Between seeing and doing, many a pair of shoes is worn up." May lang kamusulte pero lisud himoon. Kaya ang paghimo o ang pagsulte daghang nga hilis na sapatos ana pero ayon himo. But with the power of God, this is the last thing that I like to read. Remember, leaders of the church and leaders in the community. Live every day to the fullest. Each minute is a blessing from God. Never forget the people who make a difference in our lives and not the ones with the most credentials, the most money, the most rewards. They are the ones that care for us. If you see someone without a smile today, then give them yours. Ihatag na pahiyom ni mo. Live simply as leader. Love seriously as leader. Care deeply as leaders. Speak kindly as leaders of the church. Lead faithfully. And the last, leave the rest to God. If you think that God is quite away from you, please meditate upon Him each day. You might be feeling alone. But suddenly, Jesus will come in to inspire you through His Spirit. Jesus could no longer accompany His people now, but through His Spirit, He can stay with us, He can inspire us, and He can empower us. And that if you will cling to the Spirit of God, Jesus will never leave you. Jesus will stay with you until the end of time. This world is not our home. Leadership is but just temporary. But God's purpose to you, to me, and for all of us, that all of us will be prepared for His coming. Not only the leaders, but also the members of the church. His coming is 100% sure. This world, we will be living. Jesus will be coming. And His purpose for the leaders and for the church whom we are leading, that everybody will be in His kingdom. All of us will be translated to heaven. And this world will be left behind, looking for the world to come. And that we can be with Jesus in that beautiful mansion. Leaders and members who are filled with the Spirit can be with Him in paradise. Life with its best will be yours and can be mine. And that's my prayer. God bless us all.